So in Madison County, you're expected to live until you're 78. But here in Franklin County, your life expectancy is only 73. Something happened to a service. There's an argument over service in the IHOP, and the customer had time to go out to the car and allegedly get a handgun. So you park your car, you're at the field, you're walking in. So there's some things you can bring, and there's also some things you can't bring. After years of being an empty lot, construction is now underway. But 10 years ago, this is what the Piggly Wiggly looked like after a tornado went right through it while people were inside. Here in Alabama, over 165,000 people did not have jobs in June. To give you some perspective, in June of last year, only 65,000 people were unemployed. Many people are taking to the streets of Huntsville tonight to celebrate. Now the pedestal is empty where the Confederate monument used to stand. We talked about the damage out near Culver Heights and Town Creek, but as the storm is moving east, we're getting a lot more damage reports in Madison County and also in Limestone County. And what about baseball? 96 of these guys are going to be used in each game. What do you think right now are the challenges facing our area and what have you done in your current term to help? Prince here is one of the five horses that serves the over 36 students that ride here at Hope Horses. No, they're not counted until election day. So what do you want people to know about how they're being safeguarded during that time and how they'll be counted? About one in eight U.S. women will end up having invasive breast cancer, while a man's risk of getting it is one in 883. And if you think the snow cones are pretty great, wait until you hear about the adventures of Snowball and Conehead. Over the past month, the Madison County Sheriff's Office says they've been getting a lot more reports of calls from scammers. So what should you do? The big question is how in the world did rioters get through security, especially since the president had urged his followers for weeks to come to D.C.? Well, on my drive in today, I saw a lot of sad, lopsided, and even some headless snowmen, Jordan. But I think us humans are really excited about the sunshine. We have breaking news just in about Alabama's Senate race between Doug Jones and Tommy Tuberville. They have called the race with Tuberville winning. Let's take a live look at his party. Our Sydney Stallworth is on Memorial. Parkway. Sydney, if people are trying to take the parkway home, they're going to have to find a different way. After calling the newest coronavirus relief package a disgrace, President Trump vetoes a massive defense bill despite overwhelming GOP support. Well, ready or not, Jordan, spooky season starts tomorrow. What should we expect for the first day of October? and celebrate a goodbye for many lining the streets of Huntsville in the middle of the night. We are champions. Uh, <laughs> we succeeded. Um, I mentioned before that we were going to continue the pressure and that we would eventually get this monument removed, and this is that time. It was also a goodbye people think took too long. After 115 years standing in front of the Madison County Courthouse, crews were taking down the Confederate statue. The citizens here are actually getting what they deserve, um, a city that's actually diverse and inclusive. But the frustration people feel from the protest over the summer where Huntsville police fired beanbag rounds and sprayed tear gas is still weighing on some minds. They woke up a beast and a lot of different people and they wouldn't say sorry, they wouldn't take any, you know, credit for it. So, you know, so now we're going to do what we do. Now five months since that protest and five months since the city and county gave their support of moving the monument, the statue was pulled down. While cheers erupted in the streets as they applauded what they saw as progress, for a few, it was a night of disappointment. It's a, it's a sad day for Madison County. It's just, it breaks my heart to see it, you know, moved and, and there's no reason for it to be moved. We learn from history. We learn about our mistakes and if we start erasing their history, we, uh, we lose so much. I mean, I get it. Everyone claims that this is their history, but... This part of history is a part of history that we need to move on from. The statue now gone, but for people here, the fight for equality has just started. They think that they're going to take it down in some sort of semblance of let's, let's quieten them down. That's not about to happen. I'll just have um, um, 
knowledge. Takia is smart. Started K to July 31st. Kind and full of positivity. You may wonder how she keeps such a big smile so when you find out she has been in foster care for 14 years. Growing up, I always had um, people wanting to adopt me, um, but. Sometimes you'll meet families where they only want one specific child, um, and I just always wanted to say stay with a sibling, so I never wanted to be adopted. So, I mean, now I wish I would have got adopted, but but at the time I didn't. Takia wanting to stay with her siblings was especially hard because she is one of seven. When you first come into foster care, the first thing they try to do is keep those siblings together, um, and then just you know over time they eventually started to separate us. So. The home just kind of started going different because they don't want seven children. So. Now Takia is 20 years old and moved from her hometown of Auburn to Madison to take part in the K-Tech program at Kids to Love. Let me see if I can find a pair of safety glasses. This allows her to get certified in mechatronics. She still keeps in contact with her two younger siblings who were adopted at a young age, but after seven foster homes, Takia has found family in other places like Kids to Love, where she says it just seemed like everything clicked. The feeling of, of like, this is perfect, you know, like I automatically felt the love and I just knew this was the place I wanted to be, so. Takia lives at Davidson Farms with seven other girls who are without a typical family or home. We're like sisters. Um, so honestly, whatever you would take from a regular family is what Davidson Farms is. Right now, just over 6,000 kids are in foster care in Alabama. One out of every three of those kids is over the age of 14. Takia says people think they can't have a normal family if they adopt a teenager. But she says they can be just as open and loving as a baby. They just need a family to help them get plugged in. In. It just takes time to break down those walls. You know, when you've been through trauma, you've been through a lot, it's not going to be something that comes e easy, you know. Takia says there were multiple times she felt that people gave up on her, which happens to teenagers in foster care a lot. But now, with one year left to get adopted, she says she has found a few families who she knows would love her no matter what. At this point, as much as love they give me, I don't think I would even need a paper to to tell me that they're my family, you know, but it would be great, but, you know, it's nothing that I'm super adamant about. Whether she is adopted or not, Takia has found a family at Kids to Love, and with the help of K-Tech, she is taking her life into her own hands. She is hoping to study nursing at Calhoun. When you're around people all the time who are giving in to you, you just feel the urge to, to give back, you know, and and you, you find what you love, and I just love nursing and helping people, so. Ten years have passed. But the images of April 27, 2011, still in the minds of many. It, it brings up a lot of, of tough memories for me. Some memories not yet distant, but the multiple rounds of tornadoes made other memories blur. It, it, it was like responding to a train wreck, and before you got to the train wreck, another train wreck happened. Madison County first responders who were headed to help neighboring communities had to turn around and come back to Madison County after Anderson Hills took a direct hit. When we arrived, we of course seen the destruction, but then at that time we were informed of a second tornado coming. Uh, we actually were parked on Highway 53 when the second tornado actually come overhead of us. Anderson Hills is no stranger to tornadoes, but responders say this time was different. The damage, much worse. Beautiful homes turned to rubble. Back down behind me, uh, some of these houses are some that we searched. Uh, they had, they were damaged. They weren't completely gone. Uh, there are some that are over to my right that were gone. As responders search for injured people in Anderson Hills, businesses just across Highway 53 were destroyed as well. There was a little grocery store. Uh, just uh, south of here that was just leveled. After years of being an empty lot, construction is now underway. But 10 years ago, this is what the Piggly Wiggly looked like after a tornado went right through it while people were inside. It was, it was full of people. And what they did, they, they, they got into the, uh, the cooler, which they felt like was probably the safest place. And it ended up was the safest place at the time to, to be, you know, so they, the tornado didn't, and nobody got hurt. 
but sadly, that was not the case for everyone. 253 people died in Alabama on this day, nine in Madison County. That was the hard part. The hard part was, was finding people that, that had passed and knowing that, that we knew this was coming and unfortunately that we, we it, it turned out the way it did. But among the pain in Madison County were everyday heroes, specifically the volunteer firefighters. People that they've lost everything they've had and everything they will ever have and you know the, the volunteers they really do help out even if they have lost themselves. That selfless love is what pulled this community through, a type of compassion and strength that no tornado can ever destroy. It just shows the resiliency here in this community. You can't tell there's been a tornado here, but the scars are there. And we will forever be there.